man. May I have your attention, please? The show starts in ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go. Examine the email marketing sector's explosive growth, which is projected to reach $12 billion by the end of 2024 from $7.5 billion in 2020. Get your free O-mail, simply register at www.coolzone.ai. An AI software identifies cancer symptoms that are overlooked by physicians. Research has shown that artificial intelligence technology has the capability to detect cancer signals that may go unnoticed by human radiologists. Mia, an AI tool, underwent testing in the UK alongside NHS physicians, analyzing over 10,000 mammograms of women. Although a significant proportion of individuals did not exhibit any signs of cancer, the artificial intelligence system successfully detected all instances of breast cancer symptoms in women, including 11 cases that were overlooked by medical professionals. Out of the total sample size of 10,889 women who participated in the research, a mere 81 individuals opted not to have their scans evaluated by the AI system. The AI algorithm acquired knowledge of the intricate patterns and imaging biomarkers associated with cancerous tumors through training on a dataset comprising over 6,000 previous instances of breast cancer. After assessing the new cases, it correctly detected cancer in 81.6% of instances and in 72.9% of instances where it was not. Breast cancer is the most prevalent malignancy among women worldwide with an annual incidence of 2 million new cases. Despite the improvement in survival rates resulting from earlier detection and more efficient treatments, a significant number of patients continue to experience severe adverse effects, such as lymphedema, after undergoing radiation and surgery. Researchers are currently enhancing the AI system to predict the likelihood of a patient having these adverse effects for a duration of up to three years after treatment. Physicians could customize therapy for high-risk patients by providing supplementary supportive measures or alternative treatments. The objective of the PREACT clinical trial is to facilitate the prospective evaluation of the AI risk prediction model over a two-year follow-up period by recruiting 780 patients diagnosed with breast cancer. The ultimate goal is to develop an AI system that can comprehensively evaluate a patient's prognosis and treatment needs. You can be part of the next global AI giant on passive to use, and market the next generation AI tools. Simply register for free, at www.coolzone.ai. Hey hey hey, Magic Unicorn of Unpassive! Thank you for coming! Today is March 26. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and ring that bell. That way, any new videos that come out, you're going to get notified right away. Right away. Anyway, enjoy the show. We try to inspire. Let's have some fun. <laughs> oh, well. We're late. We're late. Anyway, hello, everybody. Thank you for being here. You're like uh, the unicorn said, 26th of March. Believe it or not, this month is almost over. I wanted to, I'm going to do videos, try to do one a day about what AI is doing. And I'm not talking about AI that people are afraid it's going to take over the world, okay? I'm talking about AI where, where it'll make things better for people that are living, right? For example, the breast cancer thing, being able to diagnose it quicker, 
um, they have now with AI technology being able to clear out arteries, believe it or not. Uh, AI is going to be involved in um, AI plus machine learning and robotics all put together will be able to help people maybe that are having problems uh, mobility. It will help them some. It helps them be able to eat. You know, and, and these things are a big, big deal, big deal. Um, anyway, I wanted to uh, also there's a new website out. It looks beautiful. Absolutely. Uh, they have one every week. And the technology of the website itself is mind blowing. If you haven't had a chance, make sure you watch the videos from last Friday. Oran and the one from Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea was outstanding as usual. Very inspiring. I'm hoping I'm giving a shout out to the Papua New Guinea people. I want we're going to do it again, maybe twice a month or at least once a month. And I want more and more Papua New Guinea people on because we all care about you and we want to get you together all on one screen. I think that would be fantastic. I would rather have 99% uh, Papua New Guinea on the screen than just me and a bunch of people that are always there. It's time for you guys to shine and we really want to try to make that happen if we can. Uh, but I noticed uh, the good news was Daniel reported that, you know, on, before we got the new version of OConnect, he, he had to get eight megabytes of uh, bandwidth or data uh, power to be able to get onto the webinar. And the other night he used less than two. That's a big deal. When I told Ash about that and David was using six and he got on for two, uh, that's mind blowing. And now let's remember something. Miracles happen with Unpassive, no doubt, but it doesn't make your equipment better, but it reaches a, a, a longer hand over to get you at least at your maximum level, which is a big deal. And uh, I, I think it's, I don't think, I know it's only going to get better and better and better as said it. And he also said how much he cares about um, uh, Papua New Guinea. Everybody does. Uh, like Chris said, when when he first really got involved in on passive, uh, Papua New Guinea was very inspiration to him. I remember because he got on and next thing you know, he bought like five positions or something for people over there. But no, it's good. You got 13,000 people in Papua New Guinea. And the one thing that we've always said, and I want to say it again, anybody watching this, I don't care what religion you are. I don't care what color you are. I don't care if you're hairy and you, or you have no hair. I don't care if you're freckle face. I don't care nothing. It doesn't matter. Heavy. I don't care if you've got disabilities. If you can hear me and you get what I'm saying or you can watch me, maybe you're, you don't have hearing. Um, passive is a business that everyone can succeed. And that's pretty powerful. That That means a lot to me because no matter what we were told, before I'm passive, um, MLM companies and all that, you know, do what we tell you to do and you guys are going to be very successful. It didn't happen. That industry hasn't changed. MLM's not bad. It's not a bad word. The problem is you have to be a professional to make it in, in MLM. And you have to invest a lot of money. They figured almost $20,000 to get it where, where you can really start to generate an income, okay? It's just like anything else. You want a McDonald's franchise, you pay, you get a half a million dollars, I believe, to get on a list that might be more. They pick the place it's going, everything, and you got to do exactly what they tell you to do. And even then, there's no guarantee that you will make a profit right away. So you're already out a million dollars. Where else can you get into a business and the virtual holding place is done for you you can get in for free and check it out, purchase whatever products you want and use them for yourself. At the same time, you share them and you get a commission or bonuses. Mind blowing. The first sale of a, of a product in your organization, in your business is 100% commission. What did he just say? That's right. It's, it's, this is a big deal. If you can get in the business, uh, you can get in this business for free, by the way, 
and then you you get what you want. You want to start. You want to start. Uh, you have to own it to make a commission on it. That's it. That's that's it. <clears throat> and I'm going to tell you, it's a SaaS platform, which means once you log in, you don't have to download a lot of stuff. There's nothing to download. You get in. And when you log in, SaaS is where they everything's done in the cloud. So when you log in, any new updates or anything new or new feature, it's automatically there when you log in. It's not a strain on your computer. It's not a strain on your system. It's already there. And anybody that's not in yet, come look at OConnect. You get you get a free version. You can, I mean, a free um, temporary where you can get in for free and use it, do it. You're going to be blown away. Trust me. And if you use a platform already, a, a video conferencing platform, you should compare because everybody's trying to get value. Everybody's trying to get the best technology. Everybody. We're consumers. That's what we do. We're all on a tight budget, all of us. But I'm going to tell you, I believe this with all my heart. I'm going to say it and I mean it. Anybody watching this, that would like to change your life financially and um, maybe buy back some time. I'm passive is the way to go. I've been online 20 years. I've done everything you could imagine. I have people call me and, hey, did you ever try this? Yes, it was a different name. It was different owners. But, yes, I've tried it. And can I do it? Yeah, of course I can. Why? I've worked like a mule, learned how to market. Most people don't have the time. Or the money to do that. I didn't have the money. Everything I learned was on a shoestring tape, rubber bands, or whatever I could get to make things work. Unpassive gives you top-notch marketing. They do all the heavy lifting, and you just look good. You just look good. Everybody's a superstar in Unpassive. Take the time. Get logged in. Sign up under somebody. It doesn't have to be me or Chris. I that's fine. I'm I'm I would be happy just to know you got in and check it out. You're in at a perfect time. I don't care when you're watching this. Today is the, the uh 26th of March 2024. If you're watching this the, the 26th of March 2025, you're in at a good time. That's how big this is. It's only growing. Bigger and bigger and bigger. Now's the time. Get in. Get your start working on you. Start doing something for you, your family. You know, everybody talks, well, that this is a pyramid, that's a pyramid. If you work and you have a boss and you time in and you time out, that's a pyramid. Because I want you to notice something. When you walk by the CEO or the president's parking lot and you look at what he's driving, and then go look at what you're driving. Okay, you're you're all the money's going through him. He's living the lifestyle. He's got the home. He's got the car. He's got and on passive. You are the CEO. You are the main person. Your business will grow. And the company wants you to succeed. I never found a company that wants you to win. Never in all my life. So you have to take my word for it. Go try it out. You don't like it. Leave. That's the part that's funny. Now, what you could do, and I, I say this every day, you could go and Google, because some for some reason people think that a search engine is a truth engine. It doesn't. It gives information. Negative, sometimes it's not true. Sometimes it's biased. It, that's just part of Google. It's a search engine, not a truth engine. I'm not putting Google down. That's the way they're designed. They don't take sides. Whatever's popular usually is on top. And the sad thing in this world is negative is pretty much near the top. But come in, try it for yourself. This company spending tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars, building a foundation so that thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of people win instead of 2%. <clears throat> you take that chance. You, you, you've done it before. Most of you have been online doing these things now, jumping from one shiny object to the next, going, maybe this is it. Maybe this one's going to work. Maybe the no, they're not going to work. Just stop. I've done it. I've done it. I've lost a lot of money on online. 
not because the products are bad. Some of them are great. But you're, you're, here's what happens. You get in, you have to pay an auto chip. It could be up to $200, $300 a month. So now you're behind, right? You're not making money. You're, you're spending money. The, the products you got to buy are marked up, maybe 20 30 40%. So far, everything I'm saying is not this business. Everything you're going to find is way cheaper than anything out there that you want to try to compare it to. There's, there's, um, Virtual, there's a video conferencing platform. You know the top five. You know who they are. Go look them up. You can Google that too. Then I want you to come in and use O-Connect. And you you look at it, not my point of view, not Google's point of view. You go look at it and try it out for free. And you tell me at the price, which is going to be 70%, 60 50%, less than what you can get anything on the market. You will not see the features like you will in O-Connect. You will not see the technology like you do in O-Connect. You will not see the clarity. You will not see the the uh, what you can hear, how clear it is, the functions that it has. When you get in O-Connect, you have a cockpit like you're in freaking Star Wars, okay? Everything you need is right at your fingertip. If you've got, you've got 5,000 people in your webinar, that's a big number, but let's say you did, and you have something that you want people to get, or I'll send it to you, Bob, I'll send it to you, Fred, I'll send it, no. You put it, you click a button, send it to everybody right now, right now, in a second. They download it, they have it. You want to share a screen, boom, everybody sees it. You want to take a picture of a screen, boom, everybody sees it. You want to play a video, everybody sees it. Top notch, high, high quality unbelievable some of the the if the videos the, let's put it this way the platform is every bit as high technology as any video you can put on it guaranteed you want to get in there and you ask somebody hey after this webinar i want you to go to this website i'll give you the link later no give them the link right now you punch it and everybody sees it they can click it bookmark it and keep it until after the meeting everything Everything. Well, you want them to go somewhere. You want them to see something. Everything is now. And in this day and age, especially with the kids growing and 20s, 30s, 40-year-olds, and even us old fogies, everybody wants stuff now. And you want the truth and you want the best on passive as every bit of that because it was designed by somebody in the industry for 20, 25 years who got sick and tired of the corruption of people getting taken advantage of while one or two percent make the money, I'm not putting down the one or two percent. They most of the time they work very hard to get there. The problem is I don't want to be a sheep. I don't want to be a sheep. I want to win too. And you can win and I'm passive. That's what I wanted to say. But anyway, AI is doing big, big things for uh, mankind. Uh, another scary thing that you're going to hear: AI is going to take businesses. Yep, so did the auto industry. It took blacksmiths' jobs away. Do we still have horses? Yeah. Do people still put shoes on? Yeah. Did the, did the car industry replace the horse? Yes. But you know what it did? It created millions and millions and millions and millions of jobs that did not exist before cars came out. Not only the auto industry where you make the car, but think of all the parts the parts for the car. That's where money's at. That's where businesses are at. Same thing with AI. AI will take away a sorter's job where he's sorting plastic and wood and nails out of a bin so that it can go to a recycle bin. They're going to put a robot in and it can do it 24-7 so that you can go out and use your mind instead of just your hands all the time. And the new technology, you're going to get jobs will come up that don't even exist yet. That's why people say they figure 25 million more jobs would be created from AI. Of course, we don't see it that way. But, well, how can that be? Look at history. When the cars came out, they went, that's it. It's, we're all going to die. <laughs> Everybody's going to lose their job. It's not what happened. Chris was in the in uh, industry for 30 some years. And he did well. He worked like a mule, but he did well. And a lot of people do well in the car industry or auto industry 
from parts to everything to, you know, they even have special shops where you can put on new tires, different tires, big tires. I mean, it's a huge multi-billion, multi-billion, billion dollar industry. And AI is going to enhance lives and there's money to be made in it. Why not you? Why not you? And there's enough room. It's not saturated. Ampasa was built globally to, to bring in millions of people. You can be one of them. Why not? Anyway, I'm going to turn it over to Chris. And he's going to, I don't know what he's going to do. I never know what he's going to do. Yeah, go ahead. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> well, let me say something right there. Very good words. I can definitely cap on it. But I want to put out some people that are dear, near and dear to our heart. I got a nice message from uh, Vivina Benny. Um, did I say Vivina Benny? Vivina today. Uh, Mary J. Caro, if you all remember her, is in Australia Hospital and ICU. She is being um, thoroughly observed for something. Uh, we need a lot of prayers for her. I just read on here Tim Dillon got out of the hospital. I didn't know he was in the hospital. Tim, praying for you. Uh, Tim, that was Tim Dillon. Tim Johnson still having some issues. With his eye, uh, James Yates keeps us up pretty updated on that. Prayers for him. Julie Wen is still sick. She's got something really bad, cold or fever. Say some prayers from her. Pat Perrin, I know, is out of re in recovery. Prayers for her always. Uh, Robin Noble and Bill Must. Uh, Bill, I still haven't heard from. I'm always calling him out because I love the guy. I know his son is helping him out, so keep, keep Bill in your prayers. And Robin Noble, always keeping your prayers also. She's going through all kind of stuff. Wow. Uh, it's important to me, if you don't know, I, I'm a jokester. I like ripping on people to make people laugh, but that prayer thing is number one in my life, no matter what. Uh, I do care about all of you. Some of you get under my skin and under my nerves, but that's normal in life. Uh, I still love you. It doesn't mean I don't love you, but I try to do the best I can out here and be as honest. Actually, I'm as honest as I can be because I'm, I'm pretty much honest all the time. Have I told a white lie? Yeah, I remember told my uh, my ex-wife years ago that I was having a surprise party for her, and I had to lie about something to, um, you know, to trick her. So that's about it. Am I perfect? Not perfect at all. But I tell you what, am I perfect and a passive? Yes, I am. I believe I'm passive. It straightened me out for a lot of things, and I really didn't have a lot of things wrong with me, but I love it. Um, all the stuff Marty touched on uh, about AI. Listen, we had this conversation before we started this live today. And we're late today because I was uh, a little slow on the trigger today, uh, getting on and, and, and talking to a few people that we're going to be adding to our live here and there. We're going to try to bounce off a few people uh, just to get their opinion, their ideas, their excitement. And, of course, we caught them out the last second, but we will get them. Um, what Marty said it really intrigued me about how I, AI about this cancer thing, how it actually found cancer where, where humans missed or the doctors missed. That is very, very important to me. I have lost my father to cancer, many people in my family to cancer, many friends to cancer. And knowing that AI can do that, I just got my vote. I don't, I don't even question it. All right. I don't think about, Oh, you know, Will Smith movies. <laughs> Listen, all that stuff is coming with robots. People have been trying to make a robot for years. All right. Now they're making robots and they're inducing uh, uh, AI into it. What's wrong with a robot? That's I don't like war, but I'd rather send a robot into war than a human being. I think about all the people we lost in World War One, World War II, Vietnam, Korea, Afghanistan, Iraq. How many lives were lost on both sides? I'm, I'm not an enemy to either one of them. Uh, I know, I know wars are, I don't know what they're for, but they, they gave us a lot of freedoms. Uh, so they tell me, I, I don't like war, but I'd rather see robots get shot at than people, to be honest with you, are blown up. Uh, I really pray hard for there's never wars, but the bottom line is, is we have a lot of people in this world with a lot of attitudes, with a lot of opinions. And for some reason in this day and age, which we should get along, people just do not get along from country to country. I honestly believe and passive is going to change that. I think it already has changed it a little bit because we're, we're a worldwide company. We talk to each other. Uh, you know, we're going to have 
uh, something to come on out, connect where we can talk to each other in each other's language back and forth, which is going to be, that's going to be huge. And I think the biggest problem with, with the world today is we don't communicate. Uh, we threaten, we, we get angry. We, we, we lose our tempers and we don't need that anymore. Hey man, I just want to watch my grandkids get old. I want to die in peace. And I believe I found something that's going to help all that. I believe on passive through the window I'm looking at is going to help everything. It's going to help a lot of things. Uh, fighting cancer. Yeah. Helping people with jobs. I did that just about killed me. Make it easier. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. If you have a, a machine that we pump some information into and you know, there's, there's always like great scientists and whatever you want to call them. They always got one of those problems that no one could, no one could figure out. Why not give the, a machine some information and let it figure it out. I mean, finding cancer where no one else saw it, that's a pretty big deal uh, as far as that is. And I see uh, Delisa Christie lost her mom. I don't think there's any one of us that hasn't lost someone to cancer. And knowing that AI can help it is a big thing. I think today, because they advertise it, you know, Elon Musk, and oh, it's dangerous. Hey, man, everything's dangerous. This dental floss is dangerous. I can swallow it. And choke to death. A baby can swallow it. All right. Hey, there's another thing. You ever see a, a dental floss strip like this? My favorite one. But guess what? People are still using the string. It didn't knock it out of the, of the game. It's just a different way of doing it. A unique way. It's got a little pointer like a toothpick. Welcome to Unpassive. A different way to do things. I think a better way, a faster way, a smarter way. That was it. What is it? Passive is all about. If I if I knew, you know, 32 years ago, actually 40 years now, I, I would change my life. I mean, I get mad jokingly, may I ask, why didn't you do this, you know, 40 years ago? I didn't I would have saved a lot of heartache, a lot of pain, a lot of cuts, a lot of stitches. I mean, I did all the, the junk jobs a lot of people didn't want to do. So hold on, answer, hang up. So it's it's one of those things that a passive is trying to better everything in people's lives in the world. You've heard Ash Bafara talk about things that he has that are going to be so life world life changing. It's going to be unbelievable. I can't wait for those days. I really can't. Am I scared about it? Yeah, I'm scared because every time someone comes up with a great idea or goes against an industry, you know, it seems like they don't want that. Powerful hey, company. Chris. Yeah. I want to I want to cut in one second, okay? Go ahead. I want to answer that. I want to answer next level's question. The reason I didn't answer you next or Mr. Level <laughs> is because you didn't put your real name in. I don't talk to ghosts. I know Casper is there, but it's a cartoon. If you're really serious about asking a question, you should be really serious about being you. The point is, O Connect is not on the same level as Skype. Skype, put five people on and watch how blurry it gets. So before you bring out a question, make sure you do the research. Bring in 5,000 people into Skype on one platform and give me a call. I'll join you. I'll be 5,001. It's not the same. Don't compare apples and oranges. Skype is not a platform like O-Connect. There's no comparison. And whatever your question might have been, I'm sorry, but it's not. it doesn't make sense. Now, I realize you can ask a question because you're just looking for, I don't know what you're looking for, but there is no comparison. I use Skype every day. But Skype is more like a, a messenger. You can't put people on Skype. Try it. Go do it. So when you do ask me, hey, is apples better than bananas? <laughs> no. They're both two different things. Skype's good. Nobody's putting down Skype, but there's no comparison. And O Connect will blow Skype out of the water. Skype who very soon. But Skype's a different animal. It's a different tool. But if you want to ask a question, you want to be seriously taken, taken serious, I know your first name's not next, unless your family had a lot of children. And I know your last name isn't level. <laughs> next. <laughs> next. Thank you, though. I, there's your answer. Okay? Thank you. He's on He or she is on my channel. I just found out. I am not going to. Uh, I'm not going to block you or knock you out because it was just a question. 
I think Marty just answered it very professional. Hey, listen, there's a lot of things out there in this in this computer industry that people have or people do. Let me. I want to straighten something out. We're not here to say we are. We are. We do say it a lot, but we're not here and to. Chris, Chris, do me a favor. Go uh, to your channel and get rid of next level. This is the question. <laughs> it has now. Okay. It, it, Mr. Level's not serious. He's being a dork. Or he is, she is, it is, I don't know, whatever it is. Casper, the friendly ghost, is being a dork. So get rid of him. Okay. Hold on. Oh, next level, we try, we try, we try. I don't see him on my... Hold on, you get so many different kind of... They don't want you to know this. Uh, drivers where are you your own car insurance watch this video i don't see oh there he is $162 every month now make sure you do what it says do yeah. each one remove from channel same car same full coverage sorry everybody but you got to get rid of people that don't really care they're just I went to asking questions because I learned how to form sentences or something i don't know we have to refuse simple questions about your year and okay. your, your model it literally takes okay. two and, and, and that's the way it's got to be. But, guys, there's so many things on the Internet we could say, oh, yeah, this or that. We're not about comparing ourselves. We know. See, this is the good thing is we know we understand what we have and how good it is. Can I sit there and knock everyone? I'm not trying to knock anybody. Ash Mafar has never said we're going to take over the world. What he said is we're going to change the Internet and people could join us. We're not trying to. Uh, listen, we are trying to fix the corruption. I'm, I'm not going to lie about that one. Uh, can we fix wars? No. Not right now, but I think in the future we will because people will be working together. But that's the kind of questions we get sometimes from uh, people that just don't believe. What they do is they pick at you. They might ask a good question, like the one question he asked was not bad, and then they throw something like, it, like that in there too because there, there's no one that can answer that question. Only God, literally. So... Keep them, you know, listen, we don't care that you come out of YouTube as long as you're respectful. If you're respectful, you can ask some pretty good questions on here. But if you're not respectful, we throw you to the curb. That's just how I'll give you respect when you give me respect. That's how it works. So anyway, look out your window. Uh, look what you have. You're not paying anything out of pocket except for one time. Um, is it happening right now? I don't know. It might be. It might be happening right now. We don't know. Ask it pop on five minutes after we get off here and say, boom. Uh, but just just be ready. I mean, whoever tells you to be ready for success. All right. What do they say? I want This is Walt the Cronkite. I want to prepare you. There's a massive earthquake. They, they, they want us to prepare for the worst. I'm asking you as Chris Johnson to prepare for the best. All right. Yeah, prepare your mind to help people. Prepare your mind to help your family. Prepare your mind to help your financial situation. Uh, educate yourself. Uh, even myself can be educated all the time on different things that's going to happen in my life. When is it going to happen? I don't know, but it's Christmas is coming. All right. I, I'm i sorry. I care about everyone, even, even the, 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 the naysayers, the haters. Uh, they still have minds. It's just they've been led in a different direction. A lot of people's minds are so closed. They only believe what they believe. Period. You know, they don't want to open the box and listen to what someone has to say. If most of these people would just listen to what a passive is all about, instead of saying we're trying to scam people, uh, they might have a chance. But I'm telling you right now, you can go work your whole life. You can earn a pension. It's a long haul. You, you, you hope you'll never get injured or hurt. Or you can just join a passive and try something new. Guys, it's brand new. It's a different way. A lot of people don't like change. I love change. I really do love change because it's for the better. Yeah, sometimes it don't work out, but this is working out. And Ash Bafar keeps pushing himself to make sure this is working out. All right? So just stay up. Listen, I got 100 people a day telling me I'm wrong. All right? But I got a million, 400,000 people that sit there and say, wow, we love this. You know? So just, just hang in there. We're going to have funny questions. If, if you get a question like we just did, you want to ignore it, ignore it. Just ignore it because nobody can answer that question. 
I don't like anything that's going on in this world. I think the world sucks right now. The only thing I got going for me is unpassive. Because a passive is saying, Chris, it's going to be better. It's going to get better. Give us a little bit of time. Uh, with a passive, each year is going to grow stronger and bigger and bigger. Five years, next level, you can ask me that question. All right. Okay, Marty, the devil's advocate. Why don't you answer that question? Here's the question. What is the reason why Florida office closed down? <laughs> Marty, take that one. That's okay. Not they're changing a bunch of the website, and there's been a big influx of different buildings and stuff coming in. It was just left off. There's still an office in Orlando. I talked to Ash about it. It's not a big deal. And by the way, newsflash for everyone. The office in Orlando is a, a, a room where Ash can go and gives him time to think. It's not this big office with a bunch of secretaries and all kinds of work going on. All the work is being done in other parts of the world. We know that. It's just a place where Ash can go, looks more pro professional, it's not about this big conglomerate, this big building. He owns a, a room in there. That's it. Let's not make that bigger than it is. It's nothing. Ask is the CEO, and the office could be wherever Ash goes, okay? Right now, the uh, the office might be in his car, okay? But whatever. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 don't worry about that. It's not a big deal. It means nothing. And, and, and uh, that's a big question I get every day. Um, you can talk to Peter Schuer or Dr. Bill. They've both been in that office, in the building, sitting in the chairs. I remember when a dude walked off the street uh, and asked him, who's that? And the kid walks in, don't even know him, sat him down in front of all of us in the webinar. Remember that? And I thought that was pretty cool. What was Ash did? He had a little, I think it was his little sister with him. And uh, he, what did he do? He left the kid there. He says, come on, we're going to go get a little girl some candy out of the vending machine. Yeah, he took her to the vending machine and bought yeah. her stuff out of the machine. Yeah. And a lot of people say that office isn't even there. It is. It's his, basically, it's his privately home-based office. We do not own the building, which a lot of people think. We don't own that building. Or Ash doesn't own it. He rents out some office space in there. And it's beautiful. Uh, and it's there, people all the time. I love when people say, you know, that's not there. And I say, well, then Peter Shore and Dr. Bill aren't real. Because they were in the elevator uh, they were in the office. They were sitting in the ch chairs. Really cool. So that's what you got to do sometimes. These people just don't know. They're going to be negative toward it. And that's okay. Because sometimes their negativity brings out a lot more positivity in me. And there is your answer. I already know what's there. I already know what, all over the country is where it's at. I know things that are booming, booming, booming. I know the elbows Ash is rubbing with. All right. You don't have to believe me. And that's Okay. But if I didn't believe you, I wouldn't be listening to you right now. I would be going somewhere else. All right, Marty. I think that's all I got. If you got a birthday, happy birthday today. And Red Redfern will not be coming on live today. Something I don't know if he said it was his hearing or his heating is broken. So he's not going to be on today. And I know he had trouble no. yesterday. So And I don't know what's Tuesday. I think uh, Comfort might be doing something with uh, Collins and Andy. No, well, sure. Look in the back office. He'll say, yeah, they do something usually at I know um, I was asked to come on at 2 o'clock with uh, Andy and Collins, I believe. I think I'm going to go. So I'll be there with them. Yeah, and it I'm going to work be, it should be, well, <laughs> the, but, but guys, it is not easy. It's easy for us because we'll come on. What are we going to talk about? I don't know, but let's just get them fired up. So – Coming on here every single day, especially seven days a week. I used to only do it five days a week. To get on here and talk about something that you love and believe in, it should show a lot of it. We don't get on here and say, send us nine ninety nine, and we'll get you all set up. We've never done that. Oh, wait. we That might. Hey, that might not be. <laughs> right, <laughs> wait, right now, hold on a minute. I never thought of that. Wait a minute. Hey, uh, <laughs> we're going to have. Box of 20s. <laughs> yeah, we have free products. I mean, no credit Show me another company that says, hey, we got free products, but give us your credit card number. We don't do that. We Ash Mafara says, go try it. Ride that sucker. Try to break it. Get on, have fun with it. That's all. We don't say nothing about credit cards or throw us a dollar. We don't do any of that kind of stuff. And when you're ready, when you're serious about it, passive, and you really, listen, it's up to you if you want to change your life. Ash Mafara can't make you change your life. 
He wants you to make a choice, hey, either in it or you're out of it, period. He doesn't care either way because he knows what he's doing is for good. I'm glad I got into it. I really am glad. There's a lot of things that I probably would never have done if I didn't get into on passive. And I look at it as a good thing. So uh, keep doing what you're doing so we can keep doing what we're doing. You guys keep us up. You The positivity. Send me those prayers. Sometimes I forget them. I try to remember them. I try to write them down. But let's keep on passive flowing down the right path. Let's knock out negative people. And when I say knock out, I say just ignore them. Hey, man, there's people in my family I ignore. So Yeah, let, let, me, let me just go over something since Red isn't coming on. Here's the point. If there's questions or doubt, well, let me let me give you my personal opinion. If uh, I had question and doubt about, well, what about the office? Why is Ash doing this? Why is he doing that? This is my personal opinion. I would quit. I would leave. If I had that feeling at all after, well, I've been in five years, but most of us been here two, minimum two. If I had that feeling, I would quit and go back to plan B. Oh, wait a minute. Most of you don't have a plan B. So here's my point. Well, why didn't their office system? What is he doing here? And why is there an extension? And why is this? Truthfully, there's a lot going on in life. We have no guarantees of anything. But I know this. If I go by what was said and what was done and what was spent and what what was done for us and the man shows up on our webinars, I believe him 100%. But if I did not, especially after this much time, I would fade off into the sunset. I would not be here because it would be a waste. I could have built many businesses in five years. Would have had to be many because they would have quit. They would have folded after four or five months. But my point is, I'm here because I know this is the only way to go. But seriously, I see some of the questions. Oh, you're afraid to you're afraid to answer questions. I'll answer anything you say or you want. My point is, if I had a question of doubt, I would leave. We've gone way too far for me to question. Well, is Ash truthful? Uh, he has been for five years. Uh, he's always given us when he doesn't have to. He's always kind. Uh, he takes all the bull crap while we just sit back and some of us complain, some of us. So why would I leave that? Why would I leave something that I can look and see that the money that's been spent, look, I don't have to know the amount, but look at all the stuff they're doing in unpassive.com name, which is us, because they don't have a position, I just don't get some of the questions. I don't get I'm, That's my problem. It's not what I won't answer, but I don't get it. Like nobody is going to want, nobody wants to get this moving as quick as ass. He's the one forking the bill over. He's the one that writes out the checks to pay these people for building the equipment that we see. I didn't pay for that. I, I, I looked up scam or scammer. There's one thing bad about being a scammer, but if you don't take anybody's money, you're a dumb scammer. I mean, you have absolutely <laughs> lost, lost your mind. If you're gonna spend millions of dollars for other people as a scammer, you're a horrible, horrible scammer horrible you're not going to make out you're going to fail as a scammer so think about what we're saying like the devil's advocate with the sunglasses <laughs> yeah there's a scammer <laughs> Why okay do you think, you okay know? wait a minute devil's advocate you're about to go but i'm going to give you a story this is the truth and i'm even willing to break this down for a dumbass like you okay <laughs> The truth is, Asmax was a system that he set up for people so that they could succeed in different businesses, and he did not charge them. And they did. That's the facts. Now, what did you do? Oh, wait, let me guess. You Googled it. It being a, a truth engine. That's the facts, okay, dumbass? 
If you want to know the facts, that's the facts. We're going by his record. I'm going by your record. I saw the movie <laughs> Devil's Advocate. You're pretty much a low life. I saw the movie. I saw what you were in. That is who you are, right? The Devil's Advocate. That's a weird name. What was your your parents' last name was Advocate? That's crazy. Yeah, what an up what an upright guy you are that you can't even use your name. See, where I come from, if you have a lot to say but they have no backing and you won't use your name, in my area, that's called a coward. So, Mr. Devil's Advocate, why don't you go where other cowards are and hang out and have fun? But if you don't know what you're talking about, don't say it. And you don't know what you're talking about. Okay? How much money is ass taken from anybody in the last six, seven months? And when he did, he sold them O-Connect, $143 maximum for one year. Or okay, how's, how's that answer for you? And it didn't end well. Yeah, he's he's hurt and he's in prison, right? What are you talking about? You don't even know what you're talking about. He's in prison. And what are you, Dick Tracy? Leave out the Tracy part of it, okay? Just leave out the Tracy part. Anyway, you'll be you'll be gone soon, but I don't get it. What a freaking low life. Hey, I got something to say. Yeah, what's your name? Devil's advocate. Oh, you're helping everybody here. At least get your facts together. At least know what you're talking about. If you're going to debate, know what you're debating about. Yeah, if you're going to debate, be good at your side. I'll debate you. But I'm sorry, I have to use facts. I can't use fiction. And my name is Marty DeGarmo. It's not Devil's Advocate or the south end of a freaking northbound mule. Same thing, right, Double? Jelly, jelly snack, whatever that is, too. Yeah, we got jelly snack. We got devil's advocate. We got all these upstanding human beings, okay? Bite me, okay? In case I I no, they are very creative because they know how to change an email and try to come back in here. So <laughs> It's okay. He's a, he's a coward. It, 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 what a low life. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'm ha I, we got a great company. Once in a while, you get a pimple on your ass, you pop it. Devil's advocate is a pimple on my ass, and I'm going to pop it. Anyway, <laughs> crazy. What is this, Max? Now, look at all the people. It's a shotgun that's sawed off, and when you shoot it, it kills you instead. What a crazy freaking thing. Anyway, guys, don't worry about nothing. I went through this a long time ago. <clears throat> it's out there. But here's the thing. <clears throat> Some people want the company to go out and defend itself over and over and over and over. Let's go by what they did. How about that? How about if we judge this book by the the content that's inside of it? Remember Martin Luther King? I love the day when you'll be able to judge a person by their content, not by the color of their skin. Some jackass put bad news about someone and somebody believes it. A sad. Find out the facts. The facts are... He's not in an orange jumpsuit. Everybody sees him. He's not hiding. I mean, come on. Don't be a dumbass. That's prison. I want to go to jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If he's in prison, I want to go. Anyway, anyway. So, yeah, I got a little crazy, but sometimes you got to do it. I feel better. I feel I vented. I feel fresh. I feel like I got a coffee enema. I'm just kidding. Coffee. And and. <laughs> I'm joking. Anyway, I'll see all of you. Thank you so much for being here. But don't put up with these creeps. They, come on. Guy's got to use somebody else's name and make up some stupid thing. Ask Max. You don't even know what it is. And you're going to debate? Yeah, but look what he did. Yeah, what? <laughs> what? A couple people bad him and people believed it. Wow, surprise. Surprise, surprise, surprise. All right, anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow, tonight. And uh, we want to get rid of a few people. We do you have anything else, Chris? No, no, no. There's people out here that I don't want, but that's okay. Let them ride. No, but I want people to tell me what channels they're on. I don't want to jump around. Where is Devil's Advocate? Where is anybody else who's been? I don't they're know. not being, they're not, be, they're not asking questions. They're being negative. Yeah. If you can tell me what channel they're on, we can do it right away. I don't know who Jelly Roll is. I don't know. Who do you, who's I got Kansas a, you running? I got, I got a Jelly Roll. Oh, you got a Jelly Roll? Yeah. Oh, I want to say this real quick before we leave. Uh, 
mention about prayers for Mr. Robert King from Trinidad. I'm not sure what's going on with him, but uh, Ian McFarland asked to say some prayers. So say some private prayers for uh, Robert King, please. That's it. Uh, Jelly Sack, the SEC is not a jackass. You are because you're hanging around people you don't like. SEC is <laughs> failing miserably. I hate to tell you. SEC has been failing miserable. Everyone they're going after, they're losing. I hate to tell you that. but No, no. Wait, listen, you know how many cases they have? Come on. <laughs> they're it's, it's, they they, they take them to court. Look, they're going to they let them prove it. That's all. The, the company they went after never, doesn't even exist. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you all, everybody. Uh, clean up your channels. I do it all the time. At least it'll make them go get a new email for yeah. help. Make them work. And, re and report them for harassing because that's all they're doing. They're not helping anybody. So I love you all. I'm not, I'm, I'm, believe it or not, I'm not mad. I just think it's funny that some of these low lowlifes want to come in and teach us and help us. What a joke. Look at this. Uh, Devil's advocate. What channel is this guy on? I want to get rid of him and I can't find him. Let me see if he's at nine. 97%, eh? I've been hearing that a lot too. 90, the 97% is what we're trying to change, if you think about it. <laughs> uh oh, someone's calling. Red is joining. Hold on. What up, Red? Who is it? Yeah, oh life. yeah, that's a good I did I did remind everyone you weren't doing a live today. Tomorrow we don't have 360 either, guys. Not till Thursday, because Red has a funeral to go to. So Red, are you saying you're hearing or you're heating? <laughs> heating. Uh, <laughs> both, both are hey, can you tell Jane? That I said, buy him a new laptop. <laughs> there you go. Drag him to the store and get him a new laptop, Janie. Okay. And I won't make fun of you anymore. How's that, Jane? If you get him a new laptop. Well, you tell Jane. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thank you. All right. You're still on your live, are you? Yeah, we're still. Everyone can hear you. Oh, excellent. Hi, everyone. Sorry about today, uh, but heating problems on the boat still. So they're testing the unit now, uh, and I don't know when it's coming back. So we're all good, though. Is it cold uh, there? Luckily, it's not that bad. Yeah, so that's we're, good. We're, we're okay. Uh, we, we've got shoreline power, so we've got heaters on. So we're, we're good to go, Chris. Thank you. Well, no no offense, but it's like 80 degrees here. I got my air conditioning on. So, <laughs> so yeah. how do you like me now, Red? <laughs> I, you know I love you even more. Jay wants to say something, Chris. You know what, Chris? There are choices in life. I have two choices. One is to go by Red a lap. Uh, Michigan. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Florida. Remember that, Jane. Florida. Florida. You go ahead and fly to Michigan. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, <I'm not> <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right guys. Thank please you. hope you get it fixed. Have to be safe. Okay. Thank you. Bye. There you go. Uh, Mouth. Okay. Well, we've we've. Uh, had this crazy, crazy meeting long enough. We love y'all. Even you oh. crazy people, I guess. I don't care. Lily Lane. Anyway. Lily Lane. Huh? Lily Lane's. I haven't seen Lily Lane. Hi, Lily Lane. Listen, Not, Bert, Don, Don gave him all kinds of treaties and he's screaming his head off. Yeah. I can't yeah. find it. Nobody's saying where these people are and I can't find them. It could be on Robbins for all I know. I got a bunch of people. He's not in your chat. He's not in your chat. Uh, would call oh, me in one. reference to helping P and G with internet connection from Ryan Johnson. Well. Anyway, love you all. You guys know you know us, okay? Of course, this is going to go out and how mean I am. Yeah. I'm oh so yeah, mean. you're definitely going to be on the other channel saying Marty's threatening people again. <laughs> I didn't threaten. I, I 
Call him a dumbass. That's not a threat. No, it's uh, it's, that is a fact. <laughs> I just, yeah. I guess. Listen, listen. I know we have this conversation a lot, and myself and Marty are both agree is, why would you spend so much time on something you don't believe in? You're not going to change my mind or any. If you change one mind, oh God, God, you know, love you. But most people in here, I would say, Sydney. They, they agree with what I'm doing passive. You know, if we were out here saying we're going to rule the world and we're going to take over countries, go fight those kind of people. Go argue with those kind of people. But we're not here to be argumentative. We're here to show a different way. That's all. If you can't believe that, then go do something else. Listen, why don't you go fight Zuckerberg on how he stole your information? I don't hear you say nothing about that. All right? She said She said he's on my channel. So, what? Which one? I kind of like arguing with people sometimes because it's. I don't. I don't want to argue with people. Well, they're just. I'll, I'll, I'll debate with people. I won't. I don't want to talk to a moron. Oh, here we go. Oh, she's at it too again, eh? Uh, I found one. I found one. Your favorite girl, your favorite girls on your channel too, I think. Okay, he's all right. He's calm. <laughs> Jelly Snack and the Devil's Advocate are the first couple to blow up on Marty's channel. They are first cousins. <laughs> John Wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they go to family reunions to pick up. That, that the one guy yesterday from Detroit, Joe, he must have changed five or six emails. Uh, and you know the sad thing is, a lot of these people are founders. They don't want to get out of it because they want to be on that fence, balancing. Well, if it works, I'm going to get it. If it don't, I'm going to go this way. Hey, man, either jump to one side or the other. That's all I can say. Because you know what, your butt gets real sore sitting at a. a, a no, but listen, like you're, you're trying to. You're trying to negotiate with somebody that just don't see it. So, don't, you know, it's never going to happen. <laughs> all right. Uh, They're I all think gone. We, I, think I got we, them both. I got them both, Chris. Um, anyway, everybody, uh, we took a long time because Red is coming on. And plus, thank you, everybody, for telling me where he was. I couldn't find him. One more prayer I forgot about. Me, my That's family. Good. Yeah, pretty All right, there's one. There is a boat. I just seen the rail post, and I made a Facebook. Uh, my friend posted the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore collapsed early Tuesday morning after it was struck by a large ship. Uh, it was built in 1977. I got to believe there was some lives lost there. Pray for them. That's pretty. If you go on my Facebook, you'll see pictures. I'm sure you can pull up any news cast. It'll it'll show that. See, that's what we care about. We care about praying for people that are there in trouble right now. So, another prayer. A lot of prayers today. I th you know what we could do? We have, we, we'll have we have what you call Smackdown Tuesday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the stuff is going on with trolls every day. Now, why? The Guardian should still be around to defend. Yeah, that's okay, John. We can do it. Thank you, though, John. Appreciate it. Their first cousins, John said. All right, anyway, we're going to go, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I would say I, I hope we inspired, but I'm not sure that happened today. But the beginning was good, but I needed to vet. Right? I mean, I wanted to go after important people like Devil's Ad Advocate, Cherry Donut, and Chili Mac. Cherry and Donut. <laughs> and snack. Jelly snack. It's and Margaret, all, Margaret Big Mac. And yeah, it's all the same yeah. person, you know, to be honest with you, I believe. Uh, I don't care. Anyway, so anyway, I'm back. I feel good now. Wow, I feel good. I feel like I lost weight. Yeah, I'm glad because usually Marty beats me up on this kind of stuff. He gave it to you all today. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes you got to vent. That's my venting, okay? I'm done. I'm good. I'm going to be a superstar on a bunch of channels today, but hey, some will believe it. 
And some won't. Anyway, love Mr. Mufara. Keep praying for him and his family. Pray for everybody that Chris just mentioned. Uh, thank you all for being here. I mean that. And have a great, great rest of your Tuesday. And we will see you tomorrow. Taco Tuesday. 10 Taco a. Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Ooh. And also, Taco there Tuesday. is trivia tonight. If anybody wants to help the guys out, might not be a bad idea. But we if you don't want to. their butt last night. What was the score? Are you we sure won we by did? One point. We won by one point. Oh. Remember, Lister got like three heart jokes, jokes, three heart questions. Lister hit it. And at the end, she tried that heart one again. It didn't work. And we got the points. Oh, I tell you what, right, Lister, right side. Lister, Lister OD'd on some smart pills yeah. yesterday. <laughs> she said, the question was, what side of, or what part of the heart does this? And she said, well, is it the right, the left? Is that what you're, what are you looking for? And she goes, oh, the left. And Eric Kessler came in and said, or she said the right. And Eric says, that would be the left side. And boom, that was the game. That was the out. game. Thank you, Lystra. Thank you, Lystra. <laughs> she did get a lot of good questions last night. Oh, she, she just did. kept she... saying the heart, and it came out every time the right way. Anyway. And we yeah, are doing she... lower extreme neurological questions tonight. If any doctors are on here. I know we have doctors. Uh, Gina Leva, we kicked your butt. If it was whether it was one point or a million points, we won. Uh, I think tonight was lower extreme. She did all medical questions last night, which got us all pretty good. But names you never thought about that are in your in your body. So tonight is, I think, from the belly button down, this ought to be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> we and might sometimes. have some next. Hey, we might have some next level and devil advocate names in there. <laughs> I anyway, <laughs> let's go before we get in trouble, okay? I'll see you all. Thank you very Bye. much.